Hello everybody and welcome once again to another another episode of Galactic Science 2. In this episode I'd actually like to say a few, give a few shout outs and thanks and a few tips that people have passed on. So let's start with one from Kata Aid. This is actually this first tip he gave me so let's have a quick look at that. And that was bone mealing these. Cocoa beans. So you bone meal cocoa beans and you get much, you get faster. This actually is a very good source of nitrogen too so we can do that and put those away somewhere so that's one in fact having done that there's another tip this is actually my own tip I showed you I think in the last episode oh, lots of mushrooms growing now that we could actually have a, uh, a sunflower and we can right click that with bone meal or oh, one of the previous episodes like that and you get a and you get a flower off it which you can then pulverize for about eight, is it eight? I think eight. You can do the same with poppies. Here's a poppy. We can take this poppy, we can put that in a bucket of uh, witch water, like that, and then wait a few bits and it becomes a rose bush. Take out the rose bush and plant the rose bush, like that. And then all you need to do is to right click this and you get rose bushes. Hooks up with bone meal. Let's, uh, let's take that one down the bottom so you can see it happening. So I click a few of those and you get a few of those and then of course you can then pulverize those and turn those into a good source of um, red dye. So let's just do that. Let's pulverize one of these. In fact you can do that with, the f I think there's about four different plants you can do it with. So how many do we get? Oh, yep, they have disappeared. Where have they gone to? Have I taken those in somewhere? It's just disappeared. Well, it's not gone in there. Have I got any... F That's strange, I don't understand that. Let's try that again. <laughs> I'm getting it out red. I think it's... Oh, maybe it's not going into this hopper. Oh, it is going to the hopper. That's strange, it's not even connected. Anyway, I've got 16. So eight, eight per. That was a bit weird. I didn't expect those to be working like that. So let's put these things away now. Uh, I don't need these. Or the rose bushes, or the sunflower seeds, or the bone meal for the time being. I don't think I need bone meal. I don't know what I'm going to for. So I'm going to try quickly to take this oxygen tank and change it as well. Don't really need to, but you know. It's a good thing to have plenty of oxygen at the beginning of the episode. Now here's another trick. This one's from Exhedra. And actually I didn't know about this. Let's have a look at here. I've got 41 blocks of lead and a little bit of lead inside. Let's just clear that off. So there's nothing in here. In fact I'll take out these. Oops. I'm pressing shift and it's actually taking them across. Oh that's didn't know that either. Shift clicking those brings them across. So I want to break this now and put into its place a chemical decomposer. This, this tip from Exhedra was an early one which we could have actually done to save some time in the very beginning to get metals faster. Because what you can do is you can decompose metals. So let's take, for example, a bucket of gold, put that in the filter here like that, and have a look at this. Now you see it's producing gold. So I'm going to take that out of there straight away. So you can actually feed metal straight into here and then they they get converted straight away to the equivalent amount of gold, um, whatever it is. So it's basically 16 per ingot. How many buckets have we got there? We'll leave that running anyway. I'll put it back in a minute. And that's another way, of course, to make different types of, well, whatever you want, really. And it's a good, and it's a good way, too, because these are basically much more flexible than ingots as such for a lot of crafting. Right, there we go. I haven't got enough space yet. I think what I'll do is I'll just put, oh, I'll put my bucket of gold back, can't I? Then I can take it out and then I can break it again. And this is, yeah, it needs, a, it needs a pickaxe. So we then put down in its place back this one. Let's put that in number slot five by simply pressing, highlighting and pressing slot five. And then we can right click that. And then we can then put these three into there like that. So that's back. So that was a tip from Exhedra. And that's also very useful because you can make 
when he said you could make very early on um, some f is it fluid ducts from thermal expansion I think yeah oops sorry back to him next I would like to show you what have I been doing in here basically just been clearing stuff out I'd better put a couple more chests down here so I could put some this has actually got that's empty this one here so I've basically split up the compounds and the the metals or the chemicals so I've got chemicals in here and compounds in this one down here like that now what I'd like to show you is I've been I was busy between episodes and I was basically what I was doing so I was synthesizing certain things so I've been synthesizing um, this one here is it Vardanium or something like that which is one of the the things we can use for making emeralds we, I've also been synthesizing uh, chromium which was uh, from the, the yellow yellow dye or dandelion yellow and beryl which are these three here basically make emeralds so let's get the book out here like that and then put that into here like this and so we've got the emerald select emerald put that back in the book here I mean put the book into the machine and then we should be able to take some em emeralds out so I actually made enough stuff for nine emeralds and plus another eight another seven so I actually made plenty so it was just beryl I've actually run out of we could make some more beryl it's fairly straightforward just follow the bits and pieces in fact the beryl recipe is another one of these I think Masculate barrel like that and that's made with silicon try this one masculate no metasil I can't pronounce it can I I'll try that again metasilicate I think it's metasilicate which is basically a component of barrel like that actually not too difficult another one that I've done been busy with was to make some um, flux crystals wrong one machine again so I've got a load of stuff here prepared for fluids crystals like aluminium hyperphosphite and aluminium phosphate and gallium arsenide now gallium arsenide was it was actually I showed you that but I also got a second tip from David McLean David McLean said I could make he did about 32 book to 32 stacks of grass blocks and then decompose those and got a, a quite a lot of gallium on our side which is basically something I've done already so that's another tip for you and then with this we can make some fluid crystals let's do that um fluid crystals I think it's just this recipe in here like that and put those in so I've decided now I should get around about let's have a look I should get around about 50 is it running out of power might run out of power yes it is look it takes a lot of power to create one of these and you can see it goes red so what I could do let's do that actually let's uh, it needs to be underneath this is the problem because no no decomposes decomposes you put it in the top and you can take it out the bottom and the sides so let's quickly go and get a transfer node or a hopper or something like that what have we got in here have we got any hoppers in here no I haven't got any hoppers in here and have we got anything in here that I can use as a fluid transfer node that's not so useful and some pipes uh, oh yes of course I've got something I can use I can use these in item ducts so we need a, a server and an item duct and we should be able to take stuff straight out of there and we'll put that straight into a chest I've probably got a chest in here I hope I haven't got the chest in there oh I used all the chests for something else let's make some wood and I'll do four chests like that oh I don't know what I use the chest for I use the chest I just put the chest down here so let's take out of here some let's put a chest down here like that and then we can automate this a little bit at least the extraction of it so what we need is a hardened fluid duct and an item duct item ducts are very straightforward to make 
and I think all we need to do is put, oops, wrong one, take the stuff with a crescent hammer. We just put a servo on that one there, like that, and make that always active. And then it should start to pull items out of here. Should. It's actually a bit. Oh, ah. Yes, it's a chemical synthesizer, it's the one I need to do. That's actually going to be a bit more tricky. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll stop. Breaking that brings those two back. Okay, good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this down one block here, I think. And then I can be able to put the pipe on the side of it. Yes will do let's take the pipe off and let's put the pipe down here like that and put the chest beside it yes let's just dig up this chest here put a chest down here like that and we should be able to access it I think no problem like that and I want to basically then take this chemical synthesizer if I break this it probably throw all the chemicals out no mind we'll do that We'll do that anyway. I will put it here. Have I got the chemical synthesizer in my inventory? Probably not. Let's just stick stuff into this. There it is. And if I put it here, then we can actually get at it from below. But I've got to obviously make a hole so I can get at this and put the server in the server on it. Yes, I think I'm going to have to do it that way. There's not much choice. Let's just knock a few of these out. With a bit of luck, I should be able to put a server on there, a server on there now, and extract the stuff out of it directly. That's it. Yeah, good. Or we can just make that always active, and then it'll just it'll just fill itself up. Let's just put that stuff back again. Well, at least what we can. Oh, yes, I've got. I thought I'd got one. I couldn't see it because it's normally bright yellow and at the moment it's dark yellow and I don't know what causes that to be dark or bright. So let's put the stuff back into here again that we've taken out. Oxygen and look at that a quick sort. Except for the sorting didn't work because it was on this already. Where's the book? I didn't lose the book, did I, when I broke the machine? That would be a little bit sad. I think I've lost the book. Well, that's a bit sad, isn't it? I have to remember not to do that in future, won't I? And it actually says it's got no power, it's got no recipe, that's the trouble. So we want to make, um, let's have a look, what did I want to make? I want to make um, Fluix, didn't I? Fluix crystals. And there's the recipe for that, is there. And here we have it. So it's two aluminum half a saucer and gallium arsite and that one there. So let's just try that. Yeah. And that should now, in fact, they should start to come out and be put into here. They are fantastic. And they should carry on doing it because it's just basically running out of power all the time. We should see that not enough power, then the next one, and so on and so forth until we've got enough fluids crystals. Now what I was planning to do with these fluids crystals is because they are fairly difficult to make um, in the sense of the time it takes to do these. What I'd like to do is to make a, vib a growth crystal growth acceleration chamber, only one. So let's see if we can do that. I don't know what I've got like set up in here. Maybe we don't have. Let's have a look. Crystal growth. I think it's on the first. Is it on the first page? If I can't, there we go. This one. 
So basically that's two ME glass cables, which I think we can do without any two problems, because these basically is the way we can save some some crystals. Because these will give us four. So let's do um oops, let's try that again. I wanted to really shift click these into place because I haven't got any of these at the moment. Like that. And then that's the next one of those is has it gone to? Can't see. There we are. It moves around. I hate, I hate it when it does that. We can do this one as well. And then we should be able to make because I think I've already got some of the glass that's required, the quartz glass, because that was a recipe I had in the book. I hope I've got it. Quartz glass, so yeah. So we can make a crystal growth accelerator. Which is actually doubles the usage of these, which is great. I like that. But I'm not sure if I can power it up particularly well. So let's get a bucket of water. And I've got 49 of these, which I should decompose actually. And I think that's what I should be doing. Let's put those into here like that. And then leave that for a bit. I might need to make a vibration chamber, we'll see. I think I've got some quartz fibre in here as well, which I think I can use for power. I'm, be I'm being a little bit vague, aren't I? So let's just take those and see if we can actually connect this to anything. See, I can connect it to here, no problem. Um, maybe I can just simply put it underneath here like this, couldn't I? Let's take that out of there and then let's take this one out of here like this oops wrong like that and then I should be able to put a quartz fiber underneath this um, in fact I need to go down no I don't I think I can do it let's put it here I don't want it to be too inconvenient. So if I put it, see what's going to happen is the water block's going to be there. I don't really want the water block to be too much in, in the way as it were. So let's have a go. Let's just remove these. Let's take a bucket of water out of here first of all. Oh yes, this was the um, mine chem tubes. And what I was doing is here I've got some vanadium and I've got 125 now that's five moon turfs produce this so if I select that this is exactly one so that should then be empty and disappeared from the system so we have one and that was just as a as a note for myself to remember to tell you to about that so look now let's put this crystal growth I need to also put a toggle bus on the crystal growth accelerator because it always powers it always gets powered and I think it can go at the side like this. Does that not join? I thought that would join with a fluid crystal. Uh, fluid. Oh, they only go to the top, don't they? Okay, that's not a big deal. And does the crescent hammer re releases? Yes, they do, good. So therefore, if I put it down, say, here, like this, yeah. Has it gone to like that? Then that will be activated, and any water block beside it will actually then be used. So we can actually do this one like this. Yeah, and you see that's actually now producing that. So what I'll do is I'll basically have to replace this cable for a toggle bus. But for the time being, I'll just oops, I didn't want to do that, did I? Because I just dug up a whole load of stuff that I didn't want to do. That was really not clever, but it's not too bad. I think we should be able to soon put that back again. What I'll do is I'll just <laughs> clear my inventory. I'm not doing well, am I? Right. Can I put that away? Yes, I can. And I can put that away. That's about it, I think. So, what have I just dug up? I think that will might just about do all of that. And then we need the... Yeah. This was here on the corner, wasn't it? Like this, I think. 
and that then connects everything back up again and I think that's all I had to do oh these are our pickaxes are great when you forget to press shift right okay so now I can do that what I want to do I think all I need to do is put the cable down there and the crystal growth accelerator down the bottom here like that and then the bucket of water goes in here did I get a bucket of water oh no I was planning to get a bucket of water wasn't I like that and then that should work and we should be able to get a bit of improved growth on those let's put one of those in here like that and there we are so that's it that's not too inconvenient that's reasonably reasonably well spaced I'm not unhappy with that let's put these back over here I should be able to do that as well and I think that's a, something else I think that looks good I'll have to check later on anyway also another tip from Caterade I don't really need these these dry fixes for the time being I can remove these and get the pipe reclaim the pipes so what we're going to do next is we're going to grind up some uh, fluids now I would like to make about 16 I think let's have a look how much we've got in here let's put in let's ground up eight I think we'll just pulverize eight of these and then we want some sand and I should have plenty of sand Let's go and stop, isn't it? Yep. Let's go over here because I was actually making some sand as well between episodes, I think. So we need about eight. We just craft those two together and we get some seeds. 16 seeds and what I then have to do of course is turn my magnet off and that's going to be a little bit of a problem to remember to do that all the time so let's put these seeds down in here if I can just drop them down are they in the water yes they are in the water good so let's put the the cable back and they should start to can't see the particle effects but I reckon it's working ooh no that doesn't look so good does it I can see one underneath here let's just see if I can take this block out of here and go down one and pick up those bits which are floating around that shouldn't be I thought maybe it's good I could take this one out as well ah I used the wrong pipe that was uh, not good either let's just take that out of here like this right click that with the crescent hammer should right click with the crescent hammer put that down there that's better so these look as though they're floating somewhere that they shouldn't be I'll tell you what I'll do I'll turn my magnet back on ooh earth happened to those seats is that a visual thing so I should definitely be able to pick those up and I haven't got any seeds on me this is a bit strange I'll tell you what I'll do I'm gonna pick up the book I'm gonna pick up the water this again with some water pick up the water and then go down here I'm sure right that's better isn't it yes I've got the 16 seeds oh they probably were there already let's put the bucket of water down there like that get out of the water and fill it up again right I think here's a good place actually let's just turn off on the magnet again Shift right click that and then drop these seeds into that like that well is this online yes it's online that's, I think that's okay I think that's okay but it's hard to tell oh yes you can see sort of little effects occasionally right let's stop that because one of the other things I've discovered is I would like to be the reason I made the emeralds is I wanted to make them for flim flam books and I've taken out the the filter out of it let's go back to let's go back to here because what I would like to make is quadruple quadruple quintupled super it is working and this needs power 
And one thing I needed to do was to bring the power across from here. Didn't wasn't I planning to do that at some stage of the game? And I might do that. I'll do that anyway. I'll just drag it across here. And I think I can get it just between. Yes, it can get just between those two there. And we'll then power up these machines that way. Because I'll have to basically keep remembering to come in here and putting carbon in it. It runs out and then it stops. But this was a tip I saw from Sounding Fiber 64 underscore on um, Exhedra's, one of Exhedra's videos. What it is, it's bedrock, in, bedrock in ingots here. So one of the things you can do with a bedrock in ingot, where if I can find it, let's just, doesn't matter where I pick I suppose, let's just pick, let's go previous. this one here this is a block of bedrockium now a block of bedrockium is made out of nine bedrockium ingots but it can also be made out of an octuple compressed cobblestone which is 43 million cobblestone and that's just cooked and that will then give us of course the usage of that will then give us nine bedrockium ingots just like that and that doesn't require any diamonds so i reckon that's a good way of doing this I think that's a better way of doing it than that. So what it is, I remove the filter. But also, I think it's in, no, not in here. Maybe I left them in here, actually. You see, these are the typical mob drops that we get from the automated mob farm. Blaze rods, arrows, rotting flesh, string, redstone, occasionally chickens and, and um, feathers. But if you actually go and manually kill them, you get other ones. And I get manually killed, I think it was a skeleton, and they got an oxygen vent. And the, re the recipe for oxygen vent is actually compressed steel and tin. So this is actually a really good, it's actually not that expensive, but it's a really good find. And, I'm, and I know you can get better ones. So what I want to do is to build a, another mob chamber and use spikes. So I'm planning to do that, probably, well, not this episode, next episode. And in that episode, what I plan to do is to... Well, I've got two things I need to do, really. One of them is automate this. I would like to get this um, cactus automatically harvested and fed out of here and brought into the base somehow or other. And I'm going to use water streams for doing that, I think. It should be okay. I could run a water stream down here, no problem. And another one down here. Um, and we'll see how that goes and then feed those straight into a decompressor and get the water out which we can then eventually feed into the system i'm not sure how to feed into the system so if you know you can let me get you can let tell me actually i'll put that back here look. let's look at those crystals yeah they look as actually they got a little bit bigger so the other thing i want to do is i want to make some more glass fiber red ones and I'm going to bring it from here and take it all the way through here and I'm going to bring it along here and connect into this so maybe just take it across the front here like that remove the signs there's only one sign to remove actually and let's bring it across the front or yes or you can take it through the side here like that whichever so what I was doing with the emeralds, I was thinking about making flimflam books to make magic wood. But unfortunately, I can't do that. Because there's no recipe for that. And there's no enchanted books that I can see. So you've got to basically manually enchant them. So the next thing I'm going to do is to use make some wooden spikes. I think that actually exists in here. I haven't made any yet. But I think you can make wooden spikes. And they basically bring the health of the mob down to point f half a heart, which you can then kill them fairly easily. So we shall do that, I think, as a first stage of grinding mobs. And we should be able to then do it that way. So, I think there's something else I haven't done. And I'm not going to do that in this episode either. And that is we've built the quarry plus this one and I haven't put it down. In fact, I don't have any quarries running at, at the moment at all. 
so I think I'm not sure what my priorities are yet which is the most important to do but they're all fairly important so hopefully uh, over the next few episodes we shall do each one of those tasks so until then I'm going to say bye for now and I'll see you soon